Yeah. Let me just say one thing about medicine, which I think that they all miss, which is like, I don't know. I was like, you know what? No offense to the trainees, but um, <laughs> you, you don't know what it's like to practice medicine when you're a student. You don't know what it's like to practice medicine as a resident. You don't know what it's like to practice medicine as a fellow. You really only kind of get a sense of practicing medicine when you're like five or six years into a job. Yeah. And I'll tell you what practicing medicine means. It is not a memorization business. Mm. You have memorized a lot of facts and you'll be surprised at how many facts are in the back of your mind that every once in a while they come up and you're like, oh my God, I hadn't thought about that in 15 years or something like that. Mm. That's one. Two, what it really is about, it's about like, I don't know, working on the craft of talking to someone and figuring out who they are, what they are, what they believe, what they value, what risks they'll take, what concerns them, what doesn't concern them, what they want out of life, and what bothers them, and what they're hoping for in the treat. Like you're trying to get figure out who this person is, and then you're trying to figure out what is of all the things in in in, in Western medicine, which is this like incomplete, fragmented view of the body that is still in a thousand years from now is going to look antiquated. Of all the things we have, what are the sort of labels and diagnoses and and categories we can kind of take these complaints and put them in? How parsimoniously can we fit that? Then what are all the therapies we have? What is the delta effect of those therapies, which may be subject to bias and misinterpretation? And how might those help the person or hurt the person? How do they comport with their values and preferences? And finally, what's the kind of treatment plan you would recommend for this person knowing who they are? What are the options you'd give them? What are the kind of w- ways you'd counsel them to walk through these choices? And and then the agony. Then you're at home at night, you wake up at two in the morning and you're thinking about that person. And did you forget to think about this or that? Or are you thinking about the person that you lost to follow up and where they are in their life? Or the person you cured of Hodgkin's lymphoma never came back to your clinic or the person who died and you wonder what you could have done. And that is medicine. It's like this all-consuming human endeavor that is like probably the most beautiful job there is. And it is not what they're posting in their little videos. That's not even close to the act of medicine, I think. Fuck. <laughs> so that's my, that's my Man, opinion. I think you pretty much just summed up what it what this all means for us, you know, as doctors. That's what it is. Because if you can listen to that and you feel that right deep there, you should go into medicine or you should stay in medicine. If you don't, if you're like, no, that's not for me, s- abandon it now. Like go do anything else you're interested in. And the only thing I'll add to it is that, and if anyone tells you something, you need to like have this like pit bull tenacity to get to the bottom of the fact, interrogate the fact, question the fact, probe the fact until you come to yourself, believe it deeply mm. or reject it outright. So in other words, think for yourself. Think for yourself. Yeah. 